I'm Alex Kirsten, and welcome to the new Mercedes-Benz GLC. The GLC SUV has been a true box office smash hit. In fact, it's been the best-selling Mercedes-Benz model, not only in 2020, but also 2021, with more than 2.6 million sales worldwide since it was launched. When it comes to size and the way it drives, the GLC is the most dynamic SUV in the entire Mercedes-Benz product range. In this video, we'll be investigating the car's dynamic exterior, beautiful premium interior, powerful driving performance, state-of-the-art MBUX system, and its full electric off-road capabilities. So let's get started, or you can go directly to the chapter that interests you most by clicking in the timeline below. But first, maybe I should get this thing cleaned up. So then this is it, the brand new Mercedes-Benz GLC. And if you were wondering what GLC actually stands for, here's a bit of a pop quiz for you. It actually means uh, Geländewagen C-Class. It is effectively the SUV version of the C-Class. You're welcome, I'm not just a face. Just like its predecessor, the new GLC reflects a thoroughly modern yet still classic Mercedes-Benz design language. Check out these wide surfaces and these beautifully shaped edges that really accentuate the GLC's SUV proportions. But that is not all, because at the front here, we've got an expressive radiator grille that really highlights the car's SUV credentials. AMG line cars like this one feature a new A-shaped grille with a new black frame, chrome inserts, and a redesigned three-dimensional Mercedes-Benz pattern. I'm a big fan of how the headlights have been designed to integrated within this grille here. I really, really like this feature. The new GLC comes with LED high-performance headlights as standard. This car comes with the optional digital light with projection function, offering a resolution of 1.3 million pixels per side, which keep you safe, especially at night. Information from camera and sensor systems in the vehicle recognize other road users and environmental conditions. Accordingly, the systems project symbols, animations, and guidelines onto the road in front of you. Digital light comes as optional with the coming home, leaving home function, as well as including light staging of the tail lights with 3D design and animation. New lines on the side of the car really bring out the expressive wheel arches and claddings, and there's a set of sporty new wheels available in different sizes, from standard 18 inch to optional 19 and 20 inch rim. This AMG line car has staggered wheels in conjunction with the painted wheel arch cover option. The new GLC is the same width as the previous model, but height has been reduced by 4mm, with overall length increased by 60mm. This extra length not only adds to the car's elegant look, it also increases boot volume. The new GLC comes with a maximum boot capacity from 620 litres up to 1,680 litres with all the rear seats folded flat, making it one of the best in its class. Plug-in hybrid versions of the car come with a boot capacity of 470 litres and feature an extra compartment for your charging cable. Let us now check out the GLC's interior and just take a minute to drink in the high quality material and excellent workmanship. The first thing that you see as a driver is this 12.3 inch high resolution LCD display that's in front of me. It is nestled into the dashboard, it's lovely. And then here you've got a really nice floaty 11.9 inch screen that is angled towards the driver because let us not forget, the GLC is also a driver's car. The thing that I really like about the seats in here, which is the AMG line model with the optional Napa leather, is that they're nice and soft, perforated leather. We've got contrasting color stitching as well. And when you sit back in them, you've got these nice big bolsters so you know when you're gonna be driving a little bit enthusiastically, because you can do that in a GLC like this, they will keep you in place. You're not wallowing about like that, like in a 
in, in other seats. The super comfortable seats offer class leading ergonomics. You can see how nice and slim line they are. They're beautiful. And just check out the headrests with their connection to the seats that have been redesigned for a super modern futuristic look. The GLC features ambient lighting with three dimming zones, 64 colors and 10 color moods, giving you an almost unlimited amount of combinations. The beautifully redesigned panoramic sliding sunroof has got a couple of really cool features. The first is the electric sunblind, and then the second cool feature is the rain closing function that does it automatically via sensors. When it rains, it obviously closes it, which is a really neat feature. Just like the S-Class and the C-Class, the new GLC features the second generation of Mercedes-Benz's amazing MBUX infotainment system, making the car's interior even more intuitive, intelligent, and digital. Thanks to over-the-air updates, the car is up to date. Another cool feature is the intuitive zero-layer user interface that provides direct access to your most used functions on the MBUX system by placing them on the first menu level of the display. The thing I really like about the full screen navigation is that it is super simple to use and getting from A to B is gonna be really, really stress-free. It also has augmented reality, which shows you road signs and directions on the screen. How cool is that? Of course, the new GLC comes with the MBUX voice assistant, which helps with day-to-day -day queries. Hey Mercedes, what's the weather like? Currently it is raining with a temperature of 23 degrees. Play the top news. Where is the first aid kit located? When was Mercedes-Benz founded? If yes, there is a first from aid kit in this vehicle. Cut. Smart home integration is another great service, which allows you via the MBUX voice assistant to open and close your garage door, as well as controlling your lights, shutters, and temperatures in your home. A little bit like this. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? Can you switch off the lights in my living room? Let's do it. I'll turn off your lights in the living room. She's the best, isn't she? With MBUX Entertainment, I can stream all of my favorite music directly into the MBUX head unit from loads of different platforms, including Amazon Music, Apple Music, Spotify, and Tidal. And when it comes to sound quality, the optional Burmeister surround sound system, which comes with 15 premium speakers and a total output of 710 watts, is truly amazing. The new GLC comes with a range of powerful and efficient four-cylinder petrol and diesel engines. All are electrified with a 48-volt integrated starter alternator, which means that these cars all feature mild hybrid technology. The new GLC 7 engine variants offer a range of power from 145 to 280 kilowatts, with a high torque figure of up to 750 newton meters for smooth yet strong acceleration. <laughs> The three petrol and diesel plug-in hybrid models are capable of delivering more than 100 kilometers of pure electric range, according to the WLTP. With this and the hybrid driving mode, day-to-day -day distances can be covered even more efficiently, resulting in the GLC plug-in hybrid's lower combined consumption. The optimized battery offers a total capacity of 31.2 kilowatt hours. The standard fit 11 kilowatt hour chargers is available with three phase charging at a wall box. While with the 60 kilowatt DC charger, you can charge from 10 to 80% in just 19 minutes. Additionally, recuperation recovers kinetic energy when you're decelerating or driving downhill. The energy recovery rate can be adjusted in three stages using the rocker switch behind the steering wheel. Two additional driving modes allow you to use the vehicle's plug-in drive capabilities in a particularly targeted manner. In hold battery mode, priority is given to preserving the charge state of the high voltage battery. While in electric mode, all electric driving is possible up to a speed of 140 kilometers an hour. All GLC plug-in hybrid models are also equipped with pre-entry climate control, which warms or cools the car and the battery to reach the ideal temperature at the planned time of departure. You can activate this feature via MBUX by voice or touch control, or you can control it remotely using the Mercedes-Benz Me app. In the case of plug-in hybrids, the Mercedes Me Eco Coach app is like having your very own personal trainer for eco-friendly driving. And to spice things up, you can also challenge your friends or be challenged to drive your plug-in hybrid as efficiently as possible. The new GLC is all about agility and with the optional engineering package comes equipped with Airmatic air suspension and 4.5 degree rear axle steering. 
At speeds under 60 kilometers an hour, the rear wheels steer in the opposite directions to the front. This gives the car a virtually shortened wheelbase, which makes it more agile, easier to park, and fun. At speeds over 60 kilometers an hour, the rear wheels steer up to 4.5 degrees in the same direction as the front, giving the car an almost virtually extended wheelbase. And this keeps the car more stable at high speed. Improved formatic permanent all-wheel drive comes as standard across the entire GLC range. And now for the first time, the GLC offers full electric off-road driving capabilities for its plug-in hybrid models. With its elegant and dynamic design, you might be forgiven for thinking that the GLC is not a car to be taken off-road. But I'm here to tell you that you're very wrong, because thanks to improved formatic all-wheel drive system, the off-road driving program and downhill speed regulation, this is very much a car that likes to get its wheels and its roof dirty. In off-road mode, the driver display gives you loads of cool information, but if that's still not enough for you, then Mercedes-Benz has got you covered. With the optional 360-degree camera and transparent bonnet function that works up to a speed of 8 km an hour. And this is important because it shows you things that you might not see with the naked eye, for example, potholes or big rocks. people you've got in the car and how much stuff you've got in the boot, the GLC's Airmatic air suspension means that you've always got awesome ground clearance. And the car's rear axle steering system further increases maneuverability off-road. And with the optional off-road engineering package, you get an extra 20 millimeters of ground clearance, which is especially handy if you want to do a bit of rock crawling. And there's one more thing that the GLC plug-in hybrids have got in store, and that is the fact that you can go off-road in full electric mode. In this mode, power is easy to control, which allows for strong yet precise off-roading. Additionally, a long purely electric usage time is possible even when negotiating demanding terrain. So there you have it, there is a deep dive on the new Mercedes-Benz GLC. It's good looking, it's efficient, it's practical, and it has one of the best interiors I've ever sat in. Question is, what do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. And to find out more about Mercedes-Benz models, click this link, and to watch more great videos, click over there. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.